Today I'm going to answer a question from a viewer about why I use brackets when I communicate in plain English. To begin with, I'll offer you this correct sentence structure claim. For this claim of the gratitude is with this broadcast by this claimant. Backwards, for this claimant of this broadcast is with the gratitude by this claim. As you can see, the syntax is position lodial fact, position lodial fact, verb position lodial fact, position lodial fact. We have a cause, which is the claim, a consequence, which is the gratitude, the verb of the thinking moving it into the possessive, which is the broadcast, and who is the authority of this and of the broadcast? The claimant, me. Now, if I don't want to communicate like this to someone who may not comprehend what this means or how this works, I might write something like this. Thank you so much. The problem is, when I write this, I have not positioned any facts here. There are no facts in these four words in this group. What we actually have is an adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb scenario. Why? Well, because thank is a fact-based term. You can thank someone. We have a tangible contract with the word thank. You comes after thank and is followed by so. We don't have, we don't have a tangible contract with the word so. So is not a fact-based term. You can thank someone, but can you so someone? Can you so someone? Well, you can give thanks. Can you give so? So is an adverb. An adverb, what does adverb mean? No verb. It modifies much into a verb, a dangling participle verb, because it comes at the end and the movement is just dangling. We don't know where it's going. It hasn't been properly positioned as I did in this correct sentence structure. So my personal preference is not to do this, I enclose it in brackets because it's boxing. Literally when you're looking at this, according to styles manuals all over the world, this is not on the board because it's in brackets. It's been boxed. It's not here. The only thing here are the facts which have been positioned properly, the positionals, the lodials, and the verb, and also the numbers and these facts down here, which have also been properly positioned, if you notice the punctuations. This is not here. However, as I say in all my video descriptions, I give closure on why I use brackets. This way I can speak in the language that I was taught growing up through 13, 14 years of school. This second grade reading level language, I can speak like this every day with people who do not know this and are not conversant in this. I can translate this into this. And so it doesn't become adjective, pronoun, adverb, verb. I put it in brackets. So it's not really there anyways for people who comprehend this, but for people who don't comprehend this, this is a translation for them. And I'm here for the rule one and rule equal performance of communication. I'm not here to be misunderstood. I'm not here to perform tricks. I'm a language tutor and I'm here to teach how to properly position your facts. I hope this was a good explanation for those who wanted to know why I use brackets. If you have any questions, contact me in the confidential at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.